At one time, the Mill Creek was so important because it flooded and it made the north side area of Cincinnati, where I live now, it made that area very fertile. That area used to be like the breadbasket um, back in um, pre-colonial days. The area was called Makatewa. So the Mill Creek was very important as a, a source of vitality. I was pretty shocked by the things that people throw into, into the creek. This is probably the dirtiest we've seen. The water's black here, um, there's oil on the side of the road. We dump raw sewage into this creek. Many of the counties that are part of it have been sued by the EPA because of violations in terms of high levels of pollutants, um, bacteria levels. EPA puts warnings on it of water contact and says uh, the chances of getting certain kinds of diseases are, are higher. My name is Diantha Decker, I'm the watershed coordinator for the Mill Creek Watershed Council of Communities and today we um, are cleaning up the west fork of the Mill Creek. We were picking up tires from the creek, picking up shopping carts. It's stalactites made out of cigarette butts and styrofoam balls. Tents, um, plastic out the wazoo, various metal parts, car parts. Tires, car batteries. Lots of plastic, you know, batteries leak acid, um, terrible source of contamination in today's waterways. Um, the plastic will leach into the water. My name is Danny Burchenko, from Cincinnati, Ohio, suburb of Finneytown. Um, I'm here on the Mill Creek with Pickup America, um, cleaning up a lot of trash. They can be places for stagnant water, which attract mosquitoes, and we do have West Nile virus in this area. And wherever people see a tire, they're tempted to put other crap. And some of that other crap could have hazardous, toxic materials. Up until a Clean Water Act, nobody cared about what went into the streams. And then the Cuyahoga caught on fire several times from all the junk that was on it. There's nothing living in here. Nothing. Now we, you, if we had a, a drift net, we could go in here and, and pick up lots of little fish. So it's, it's much improved. Out in the ocean, whales grab this stuff as they're filter feeding and it really clogs them up. But here, gets trapped on trees and it's ugly. The stuff that uh, is the biggest problem is stuff you don't see. Chemicals in the water, uh, fertilizers, antibiotics, hormonic things. Raw sewage gets dumped into this creek when there's a heavy rainstorm and Cincinnati has a system called combined sewage overflow. Sewage overflow. Combined sewage overflows. Now here's a CSO combined sewer overflow. When the uh, storm water runoff mixes with the, uh, the sewer volume and the pipes aren't able to handle it, these doors open up and let a mix of that stuff out into the stream. So you have raw sewage and, uh, and storm water coming out. The sewer system isn't set up to deal with that high volume of water and there's a movement to try to change that because the, the raw sewage can wipe out ecosystems here. It's killing the species in our lakes and our streams and it's ending up in the Mississippi River Delta and there is an enormous dead zone of things that don't live because the nitrogen and phosphorus that comes out of these things combined 
with agricultural runoff is killing all these species in that area. All this black stuff is poop and it's nasty. It just eats the paint away. Whatever is in there that's coming out of that. And it's going into the stream too, you know? That's crazy. I don't think most people have any idea of what happens to their stuff. It goes down the toilet, it goes down the sink, it goes in the garbage can, but where it goes after that, not a clue. It's all got to go someplace, and stuff from your, your sanitary drains comes down right to here. You can't tell somebody they're not, uh, we're having environmental problems, you can't go to the bathroom anymore. It just won't work that way. The Mill Creek goes all the way to the Ohio River, and Cincinnati's drinking water takes out of the Ohio River. And the Ohio River goes to the Mississippi, the Mississippi goes to New Orleans and to the Gulf of Mexico. Everyone is downstream, and it's important to remember that. This may seem like a small creek, but it affects so many other people. So it's so important that we keep this water clean. This is part of my hometown where I grew up. Uh, I never even was really too much aware of this creek growing up um, and as I've come back to Finneytown or to Cincinnati now that I've kind of gotten my environmental enlightenment I've become much more aware of the local environmental issues that we have here and aware that the Mill Creek is one of the most polluted creeks in Ohio. Today has shown me how much garbage there is and I know that we only made the tiniest dent and the amount of waste and it's it's tragic that you know 16 people you know can spend so much time cleaning it up and it it's about making a stand it's about making a statement young people have a lot of energy you know and and uh, just continue to see that time and time again that um, um i feel like there's something shifting with our generation where people are more awake more aware of what's going on, their impact on the planet, their connection to that, um, and a desire to do something about it. People aren't going to live on wild-grown nuts and uh, lye soap, so you have to have industry. I'd like to see it cleaned up. I'd like to see it uh, available for more recreation. The most important thing is raising awareness. This is what's on the back roads of our neighborhoods. I mean, this is such an integral part of the life here um, of our community. I mean, water is life. And it's important that we take care of our resources rather than abuse them. members of the Mill Creek Yacht Club now. <laughs>